My wardrobe is definitely kind of in a transitional period right now where it's kind of a, a, a pull and a push between like, I want to like really refine it and like wear only stuff that I like really, really like yeah. and I'm really comfortable in. But at the same time, clothes cost money and is it wasteful to do that? I'm not sure. So um, at this point, I think my wardrobe mostly reflects my personality. Like I think I'm a person that's like practical and adaptable. And I feel like you can see that in a lot of the clothes I wear. But I also like things that are pretty and shiny. And yeah. Like Philly, you know, on the right occasion. So like I said, my clothing, I want it to represent who I am as a person. So when I wear what I wear, I not only see myself in my clothing, but I also feel like myself. I don't know about my personality. It's just convenient. I think it looks all right. Fair. It's cheap. <laughs> Loud. Loud. Yes. You know, like... It's kind of out there, you know, Yeah. but not too much, just enough, just a perfect amount. <laughs> but it is a lot, like sometimes people are like, what? And then they're like, whatever. I like a laid back kind of look, you know, like loose fitting jeans, mm -hmm. um, okay. stuff like that. Comfort yeah. is key for sure. I don't know, maybe some light streetwear stuff, but I honestly don't like some of the people that follow that shit, so. I don't, but I would say that my mom in the early 2000s is a big one for me. Nice. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, I'm like, I love 90s and early 2000s. I'm glad you observed that. Um, I'm like, literally, I usually thrift a lot of my clothes. Um, I'm trying to be more environmentally sustainable. Um, I got this jacket at a Goodwill. Six bucks. <laughs> I have a lot of different styles today. I'm just trying to be comfortable. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> and I was in a hurry, mm -hmm. but late 90s and early 2000s is actually a big part of what I'm going for. I usually get my influences from uh, the artists that I listen to, because I usually listen to a lot of rap music, so I um, look at what they wear and I kind of get, get inspiration from that. <laughs> I'm not really like a fashion person. I yeah. don't really, I've never really cared. I just like wearing stuff that like something to me like mm -hmm. gifts that I got from people yeah. or like places I've been to so my, do my closet isn't huge but it's full of stuff that I wear and I like. Fashion's important to me because um, I think it's important that people wear the clothes that they wear and not let the clothes wear them. I think it's really important for like self-expression and just kind of like showing the world like who you are without even really saying it like mm -hmm. when you walk into the room well my style is important to me because it represents who i am as a person that i usually wear clothing that of interest that i like like i like basketball so i wear a kobe bryant shirt and i have other clothing that um, represents who I am as a person. So for me, when it comes to style, I got to like, find something that matches my personality and matches what fits me as a person. Yeah, um, I'd say most of my closets like this. I kind of like lean into being an English major and like do like lots of kind of like, like vintage retro preppy mm -hmm. aesthetics. Yeah. Sometimes I do like, I like to play around with like Y2K kind of aesthetics yes. too. I just really like, um, vintage fashion like sometimes yeah. you might see me in more of like an 80s or 90s look too but mm -hmm. for the most part this is it yeah <laughs> as a queer person <laughs> as a gay man um i don't know i always felt like uh, a lot of the time growing up i was kind of like pushed to um dress only in the way that like uh, a lot of people around me did specifically like boys and men around me did and i didn't like the way they dressed because there was like there were really I don't know. They, it was very like, uh, like very default. Very like, you know, um, dressing for function over like I want to look like nice and fun. Yeah. Um, and I've always been more of the like maybe like a good middle ground, but definitely leaning nice and fun. So um, I don't know. Like, uh, so I feel like it was important for me like buying my own clothes when I started being able to do that. Like picking out what I wanted to wear. That was a pretty formative moment for me. I think. Dressing up nice is just my like kind of form of self-care. I think you need to at least enjoy what you wear and it's also possible to do it while being sustainable. Um, I know not everybody can afford like, you know, bougie top-end clothes because I sure can't. And um, it's very possible to wear clothes and not let clothes wear you and do it sustainably at the same time. I think the cool thing about like cycles of fashion is that we get to 
like kind of shed the stuff about it that we didn't like and keep only only the things that we did like and i think that's like a big part of 90s fashion for me to me style is very important because it shows the self-reflection of who you are and just like everyone else they have the freedom to express themselves how they want to and i feel like there are many ways to do that and clothing is one of the most essential and i guess one of the coolest ways to do so Yeah, you're, you're good. I just didn't want to like eat it. Yeah.